morning. Welcome back to my channel. I have got the craziest weekend. It's just non-stop. So I thought I would just take you all along with me and see what it's like in a normal non-lockdown weekend because I suddenly realised this morning that this is what my life was way, way back in February, March time. And I just forgot how much I didn't sit still at the weekend. So I thought I'd show you what it's all like. So I've got pony to do, I've got my nephew's football, I've got a very exciting meeting over with Mikado, I've got some pony pimping to do because Milo is off to some dressage tomorrow, which is exciting, uh, his first one for a very long time. Um, and I'll be going with them as well tomorrow, so I will take you all with me there. Got to try and ride Oscar at some point, maybe do some more in-hand stuff with him tomorrow, so just a million things to do all weekend. And for the first time in I don't know how long I'm actually socialising tonight so I've got to try and find time to sort all of this out and make myself look slightly presentable and go and see one of my best friends I haven't seen for god knows how long so crazy weekend super exciting and I hope you all enjoy you going Osk? come on in I think he wants some hay. <laughs> right, so we have to quickly hay Oscar. Um, I need to do Milo this morning as well, so my husband kindly is going up to get him in, give him some breakfast, give him some hay, and then it's shooting straight off to my nephew's football. They've both got a football match, and thankfully, it's next to Starbucks. So that's my breakfast and hot chocolate of the day sorted. And then it'll be back down to Poopick, ride, everything else in between, and then I've got a very exciting afternoon. Super warm. I can't believe how nice it is this weekend. Hopefully it stays for the whole day. I am now off to watch two little football matches. Both my nephews are playing this morning and my poor husband has got to ref one of them. So he's really happy. So I'm gonna go via Starbucks, grab him and my family some drinks, get myself a nice hot chocolate, have probably an hour or two standing around and then it's straight back down here to fly around like a headless chicken. See you in a bit. Fast forward a few hours, football is all done, thank goodness. Unfortunately, it's not so um, not so blue anymore. There's a nice big black cloud just, 
just coming in, so I'm um, going to try and get rid of before I shoot off over to Mercado. I'll put some little clips in of our uh, riding as well, just to show you where we're at, because he has come on quite a bit actually. He's like starting to get a little bit more balance and things, so I'm really happy with him, but I will show you where we're at and then I'll take you over to Mercado with us. So managed to have the best ride on Oscar I think I've ever had. I had a really good lesson, popped over a couple of tiny jumps, uh, he was really good in his canter as well. And now I have thankfully got my camera woman here with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've come over to Mercado because as part of my Woofwear brand ambassador position, I have kindly been given the opportunity to have a pair of their new Pico boots, which are through the Fonte Verde range. So Jen has really kindly offered to help me measure myself for a pair of boots because I've never had to do that before and I've got no idea what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go in, get measured up, hopefully then get those ordered today and hopefully I can get them this week um, and I'll probably post on Instagram about them. So if you're not sure what they look like, keep your eyes peeled on there and I am going to ask Karen if she will film the measuring and all the fitting and everything so that if you don't know what you're doing either you can watch this and measure yourself and get ordering your own pair because they are so smart. So this is the sizing guide that comes on the website for Fonte Verde boots. Um, so what Jen is basically doing is measuring the fullest part of my car she did both my right leg and my left leg just to make sure obviously if I was right on the cusp between regular and wide then I would have had to make that decision as to if one of them was one centimetre into the wide I probably would have just gone for wide for comfort but I seemed to be 37 on one, 38 on the other so smack bang in the middle of the regular short my leg length, which I already knew this was going to be the case, um, is 44, which is short. So all she asked me to do was just to stand with my 
knees slightly bent so that she could obviously make sure that it wasn't going to dig in behind my knee. And then, yeah, just measure the length so just behind, just below the crease. And yeah, that came out 44, so all done. So I'm back from getting my legs measured for my boots and I tried really hard not to buy everything in the shop because I think my husband might have killed me with the amount of stuff that I've got for Oscar recently. So now I have to, because I stupidly keep letting him have both these bits all to himself, he's very happy about it, but I have a lot of poo picking to do. So me and Karen are gonna get to work clearing the fields before getting the feral Milo in and trying to make him look less homeless. He says, as long as you're not getting me in, I don't care.
up bright and early on Sunday morning. I feel as tired as my face looks. <laughs> but I've got to come and plant Milo because they're off out this morning. I think we're going to leave about half nine, quarter to ten, so not too bad. But I've been planted for such a long time, I know how long it's going to take me. This one's very, very happy to see me. Let me flick around and I'll say good morning to Oscar with me. Morning, little Oscar. Ooh, you've got grass stains on your nose. That's, that's really clever. Brilliant.
a fair few hours later, um, I'm back at the yard for the afternoon. I've just got some odd bits and pieces to do out in the field, but um, just want to debrief. Karen's not here, unfortunately. I had to shoot off straight after, so I didn't mind to catch up with her that much, but it went really well. Um, as everyone does, she beat herself up over the test a little bit. Uh, they had a little hiccup in the middle of the test, but actually she hung around and got her score sheet and lots of six and a half, lots of sevens on there, some really nice positive results. Um, I think it went really well. I think for their first time out in 10 months, they smashed it. Uh, there's bits that we can work on back here and hopefully she can get some more booked in um, and ride two tests in one day, Karen. It's her new little thing rather than just doing one and not being able to correct it in her second one. So, But that's fine. Get something booked in, get back out soon. I am now going to go and just do a complete fencing check and make sure nothing is touching the electric fencing so that it doesn't short it out anywhere. Can you just see my little... <laughs> always, always has his head down this pony. And then because he is staying out now, I want to go and get his bed all up the sides and all dried out um, so that if we need to use it, we can just put it down. And he, he loves standing in for a few hours every now and again, having a good sleep. So I will still be using his stable regularly, I'm sure. He's just having the day off. I was still on a cloud nine after our ride yesterday. He was such a good boy. Um, so yeah, he's just chilling. He's gonna probably sleep for most of the day in his field. It's such a nice weekend again, which is so nice to see rather than rain all the time. Uh, so I'm just gonna get on now. I'm gonna go and do all my bits and then I'll catch up with you later. So a quick field perimeter check turned into hunt the shoe. Yay. Every person's favourite Sunday afternoon job. Thanks so much, Oscar. But now, actually, the whole afternoon plan has changed because I've had a message to say that I have a little delivery coming midweek and I can't wait. It's not even that exciting for everybody but me, but I love being organised, so I'm really excited. So now I need to go and tidy and clear a big old space in my hay barn.
So it's now half past six. It's been, it has been a really good weekend actually. Exhausting, but really good. It's nice to actually feel like it's a little bit normal, like just going to a show, going back and forth to different places and just not feeling like you're doing something wrong or that you can't go anywhere or that you just have to sit around because there's nothing else to do, so. Everything is done, Oscar is happily munching, everything's tidied and clean, which feels so much better because I've neglected tidying the yard for a few weeks, so it felt good to just get all that done, but I will be back here in 12 hours time. So now go home and pray that my husband has cooked me a lovely dinner. I will now leave you, so thank you very much for watching, don't forget to give it a like or a comment if you want to see me, like anything else that I do, like a normal week or weekday or anything like that, um, but yeah, see you later, thank you!